curious, optimistic, and ecstatic. That's how I would describe myself when I started college. In 2014, I was fortunate enough to enter a university. I would not say my dream, but I should say worth dreaming of. I still remember the first days of freshman orientation and the jolt of excitement when we finally entered the arch of the centuries. I was happy to have met wonderful people too. Thinking back, sabi ng karamihan, drawing drawing lang ang fine arts? Oh boy, were they so wrong. Yes, we drew. We drew deers and owls na nakatayo sa fountain. Dinrowing din namin yung texture ng puno sa lover's lane. More than that, we had to learn sculpting, photography, copywriting, animation, events management, and many more. Fast forward to fourth year, I and the people I happened to be comfortable and friends with had to go our separate ways. I took photography and they too had their different specialties. Ang naisip ko, papakita ko na lang yung portfolio na pinasa ko sa screening namin sa photography. I signed up for photography kasi yun talaga yung gusto kong gawin sa thesis. Ngayon ko lang talaga pinush na photog na kasi feeling ko yun talaga yung gusto kong gusto kong gusto ko. My mom had to go to New Zealand to find herself again and heal after losing her own mom. That was another setback for someone like me who got used to seeing and talking to my mom 24-7. From curious, optimistic, and ecstatic, I became lost, hopeless, and I just wanted everything to be done and over with. I tried to fight my frustrations and worries away, every day. I tried and hoped for the best. But I guess things don't always go the way we'd want it to. I failed. I'm sorry if I haven't been uploading videos these past few months. That's because I've been dealing with stuff lately, specifically my thesis. Um, if you can already tell, I haven't really graduated yet. And that's because I failed to defend it. Um, it's a long story, but long story short, it's because I think I wasn't ready yet. And that, I was too fixated into making the little things perfect. Tapos nalimutan ko nang, I forgot to look at the bigger picture. I was running for cum laude back in 2018. After I failed, I lost the chance. The thought of this in my previous thesis haunted me for so long. Until I finally decided to go back to school this time for real in 2020. Unlike before, I found it hard to focus on my tasks. There's still this doubt in my mind and in my heart if I would be able to accomplish my thesis or if I were truly good enough. But I thought to myself, I had nothing more to lose. Rather, I have to win over the dark clouds in my head. Waiting ako. Wish me luck. This is the proposed logo, taking on a fusion of vintage and I even hyperventilated during my defense. The new logo best represents the identity of the brand as well as the trends today. Aligned with the brand's mission, vision, and premise, the redesigned logo of Kukuruka. Lo and behold, here I am now telling you guys the story. I hope I could have shared more photos and videos about my journey. Kaya lang na sila sa hard drive ko nasira. I'm just so lucky to have a family that supports and understands me. Obviously, I am especially grateful to my mom. Now, please join me as I close this chapter of my life.
graduation day! So, ngayon, mga mare, ay gagraduate na ako. Cheri! So, andito natin ng na, uh, ating graduation... Ang tawag? <laughs> graduation girl? Wow! Graduating girl? So, Basta gagraduate. So, here's a quick outfit of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys, my face mask. 20 pesos. My Ana! <laughs> 